Hi friends, it's Sleepy, and we're playing the Ultimate Decades Challenge. We're in Hunford on Bagley at the Turner Farm with Shanna, and as we suspected in our last episode, Shanna is pregnant again. Hopefully, her pregnancy is a lot smoother this time, and she doesn't go into her preterm labor. In this episode, we're going to spend some time with Miles in the Village Center, and we're going to have several birthday rolls. So let's hope for good luck. I'm just getting the family ready for bed, and I feel like I haven't really brought attention to Jack with Shanna's father, if um, anyone has forgotten that. So she has been in mourning during this time. Oh, Marjorie's still here. Oh my gosh. I want to kill this fox. Look at that bump. Shanna's in her morning clothes. Joseph. <laughs> I wonder what they just said to each other. He just made a cute sound. Yeah, and I feel like you're standing too close to the stove. I'm still traumatized. So, we are going to send Miles to the village center. He's going to sell some milk and buy some candles after he eats. He got a little dirty from all the work outside. Shan's got a nice pie. I'll tuck it away for now. And Miles is going to get some attention today. I never pay attention to him outside of comedic purposes. All right, I think enough time has passed. It's uh, solidly midday. What's this sentiment with Anne? Oh, they're getting along. That's nice. Sure, Anne can like pranks. Okay, well, Shanna seems to be doing great. I'm not worried about her. The girls are having fun playing. Um, <laughs> we're gonna take Miles to the village. Excuse me? Jamie eyes? From crushing on someone nearby? Um... So... No one here is acceptable. You know what? Let's just go to town. I'm not going to worry about it right now. I can't figure it out. Let's try to sell some of our goods. Hmm. I feel like we'll be have... You know what? No. We'll have good luck with the older son because Miles... Because Miles. <laughs> he sees a bosom somewhere. Village... What? Village mayor? Knock it off. You drive a hard bargain. Awesome. Okay, so that means we can sell at a surplus. We don't have too much to sell. Nice. Sell it all. I thought I could sell the honey. Guess I can't. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at this pod of knights. And Gia right in the mix. Maybe she's trying to find a man. Maybe she changed her mind. <laughs> oh my goodness. What are you doing here, William? Um, okay, so Miles also needs to find some candles to purchase. <gasps> the landlord's here. Oh no. Um Please don't mind how chaotic the store is and how chaotic all the sims are. Let's say hi to Gia. Gia in her morning clothes. Okay, making me work with the mouse. Oh, I thought we would go inside the store to talk to her. Oh, Lily's there too. Wait, Miles, you didn't do what I asked. Who are you talking to now? Oh, oh my gosh, who is that? Moochie Peachy, Shaby Bluey. Yes. Oh my goodness. Sula, Sula. 
Miles, that's an adult. How does he always find the older woman? <laughs> Did you just try to flirt with her? Awkward encounter. Hold your horses. Wait, what? What? What did she just do? First of all, why is Miles coming in strong with the flirt? It's out of control. Uh, alien deception. <laughs> I never thought I would have to deal with aliens in my game at all. I'm going to just let him. <sighs> I wanted him to talk to people he knew, but... Can't be bothered. Can you be normal, Miles? I'll allow you to say hi to Rapunzel. A young adult. You know, she's still older, but definitely more acceptable. You gonna say hi? Dag. <laughs> okay, that was normal. I don't know. I'm I'm kind of hunting for a lady for miles. Attractive. Noon alien. Basic looking. Why are we flirting with her so hardcore? We still need candles. She's boring me. I don't really feel like they're doing anything. Who is she? She is so pretty. We need to say hi to her. We're running after her. OMG. Oh, there we go. He's still embarrassed, but whatever. We need to know more about her. She's like really cute. Oh, it's raining. No. Let's just throw a little. Like a small flirt, no? Okay, we gotta get out of here. Oh, it was a thunderstorm. Okay, it's dinner time back at this farm and there's a storm. I want everyone to come inside and be safe for Pete's sake. If anyone gets struck by lightning, I'm not gonna handle it great. Miles, why don't you come in here to have dinner with everyone? Is everyone indoors? She's hiding in a bed. She's getting food. Miles is like, my vibe's getting pulled down. He's so many moodlets. Why are you crying? Oh my gosh. Alright, what's wrong with Rebecca? She's sleepy. Oh, hey, okay. They're so cute together. You know, Miles is, uh, he has no sisters at home. Not that he lives at home, clearly. He's been permanently rented out to Joseph's, um, blacksmith shop. But he definitely sees these girls as his, as his family, his little sisters. Oh my god, Shanna ran outside to use the bathroom. Don't get hit by lightning on your way there. So, as someone suggested in my comments in the last video, I did give Anne some scarring. I think it's just the birthmarks from the game, but I thought it simulated like burn scarring decently. So she's got some on her hand and her hip. She animated it! <laughs> she's soaking wet though. Oh, the baby. I don't know if I'll ever get tired of that in my game. Well, honestly, I can't afford to get tired of it. It's going to happen so much in this um, challenge. Miles is going through it. What are you guys up to? You all messed up? Oh! <laughs> what was that move? <laughs> What's up, dude? He's such a teen. All right, you know what? I'm going to get this family to bed. Tomorrow, we're going to the now Vincent household to see Mary, Robert, and the kids. All right, and we have woken up to another morning in 1313. Shanna's in her third trimester, 
and before she gives birth, we're gonna go to the other household and get our birthday rules done. And then we'll be right back with Shanna, and I'll kind of do a summary of her labor and delivery. The morning light is just so beautiful. Oh look, it even seems like people are doing their chores already. Excellent. She's grabbing Edward. Oh, Elizabeth's in a toilet. Count your days. Actually, count the hours. You will not be able to play in the toilet for long. Mary, why did you put him outside, outside? Very weird choice. As you can see, Mary's out of her morning clothes, her black outfit. It's been one year now since Thomas has passed away. Edward will be aging up to a toddler today, hopefully. And Elizabeth also has a birthday today. Um, as I mentioned before, she'll be aging up to a child. Oh, these two. Honestly, they have been at it, and I'm not surprised that they now have a difficult dynamic. Babies. Well, how are we doing, kiddos? What a sight. Mary looks so good. She has a permanent snarl on her face right now, though. Okay. Let's do this, you all. I kind of like to start with whom we've known for the least amount of time. I feel like we have some emotional baggage where Elizabeth is concerned. So I'm going to age up Edward first. <laughs> That's so cute! Oh, <laughs> Happy birthday, Edward! Here we go! Edward aged up. Let's see what he'll be like as a toddler. Bussy. Alright, let's do our... Oh my goodness. That hair is out of control. Let's do our death roll. To age up to toddler, Edward cannot roll a four or an eight. Okay, Edward makes it. Now we'll go straight to Elizabeth. Elizabeth cannot roll a nine or 19. Elizabeth makes it to childhood. Great. Let's see what her trait will be as a child. Oh, no, I'm not keeping that. All right, creative. Well, if she's creative, maybe she's an artistic prodigy. <laughs> All right. Let's get these kiddos uh, made over. Oh, I caught Mary and Robert conversing briefly. <laughs> what are those two doing back there? <laughs> My god, what's happening? <laughs> you know what I haven't done is have Vincent adopt everybody. I should do that. Oh, silly me, I missed the whole interaction. He's about to do it again with, uh... <laughs> Did it with Henry. So cute. Oh. I think this works out cute. He's adopted everyone as a care dependent but he officially adopted the two youngest um, children because they were so little when their dad passed they they won't ever remember him really are you good marjorie you look unresponsive there you go <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, what are brothers for? And we are back oh, with Joseph and you? Shanna because Shanna is in labor. So I'm just going to quickly take us through this process so once again. They decided they didn't need a midwife this time because Shanna had such a smooth pregnancy. She was really comfortable. Even though she gave birth prematurely last time, she did fine in labor and delivery. We also didn't let anyone in the family know. Oh, Joseph got his boy. Oh, this is great. On second try. I haven't thought about a boy name for them yet. I think Jacob. Jacob Turner. What a cute little picture I, ca I captured here. Let me pull up the dice again. For Shanna surviving childbirth. We cannot roll a 1 or a 10. 7. Shanna successfully delivered another baby. For Jacob, he cannot roll 1, 5, 10, 15, 20. I had been getting such good luck with newborn rolls. I can't plead with the grim for newborn babies. Oh dear. It, I, it's fairly accurate that this would happen eventually. My sims have had like 10 children now and none of them died as a newborn. So it was bound to happen. And I feel terrible because baby boys, they are very much sought after. I'm, I'm bummed out. I'm a little mad. I'm going to end the episode here. I'll have Joseph meet his baby boy and off camera. I will have him pass away. And there it was. Jacob's last moments. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and comment. Let me know what you think the future has in store for Miles. And I'm so sorry for such a sad ending. Thank you for watching. Take care.